Alrighty, we're in our nice luxury apartment complex. We're going to be putting our nice new light up in the hallway because as you can see, it's kind of dark back here. So I'll show you how to install it. It's a LED light, it's maintenance free, and it's energy saving. And I'll show you how to uh, install it. We're going to be using an MC cable. We're going to put the wiring on the wall. We're going to use some of this here. Got our emergency light down. So this is another piece we're going to have to use to uh, go down further. We're going to wire a junction box here, so we're going to cut. I do 
sharp edge right here. I take these side cutters and I'll cut this little bit off here. And I'll put the uh, connector on here to fasten this to a box. Now this has a pre-made uh, bushing on it, see the plastic bushing in here? So that will go in here like this. that will lock on this cable here, so we push it in through this, and you'll hear the little click in there, like, we'll just turn it with the direction of the cable just to make sure it's down all the way, so we have a nice tight bond here, and we'll do the same with our other end here. This is the end of the Sharp edge off here, like that. We'll take our other connector here. And we'll push it in like this. And again, we'll snap it in. We'll just turn it so it's down all the way. So this will be the one that will go to our light. So we'll put our junction box together down here on the floor so we don't have to put it together on the ladder. All right, so we'll open up our knockouts here on the box. like this. When you push this in, you'll hear them snap. Here it snapped, and now it's bonded to our box. And we'll take our other piece here. We'll push this in, and you'll hear the little barbs lock. Now we're going to put our green screw in here and make a grounding connection to bond it to our box. And we'll get a ground tail wire out of a piece of Romex here. There's our wire around the screw here. Hey, Mr. McBuzz, how are you doing? Good, good. Okay, my camera's recording now. How does the picture look? Good. Okay, good. We're down here hooking up new lights. Yep. I'm going to come off that and go down. Okay, so we're going to get our wire nuts here. And we're going to wire nut our wires together. This is the junction box. 
Did you get a piece of rug? Yep. Good, good, good. Okay, so wire not a two uh, white wires together. We'll get our insulation even at the bottom there like that. We'll twist them so that they're even. I'm doing this on the ground to save some work up on the ladder. Flip it so it's even with the shortest one. Then in the country I was pointing, we use wire nuts. And then we have three of them for this junction box. So we got our whites together. And we'll get our blacks together. Insulation even at the bottom there. Do you have a screw gun I can borrow? Mm -hmm. Okay. Two green wires here. There's our junction box all prepared and ready to be put up. Okay, so I'm going to take this and we'll hook it up to the mounting on the box we're coming out of. And we're going to put this one on our end that's going to go where our light is going to go. So I'm going to go grab that other box. in here. We're going to put our other green screw in here. This is our ground screw. you got to bond your ground wire to box. strip a black wire for a ground wire here because we want to save our other wire for tails. If you have free lunch over at the church on the rock if you want to go. Oh yeah? Okay, we make a loop the direction our screw turns. Okay, now we'll put our wires into our box and you'll see these two little clips here. They'll snap into the box like that. We'll strip our ends, strip our light up. short because we don't need them that long so we're putting a solid or strings of wires on them. Okay now I'm gonna go up and start mounting everything. Alright. Okay we're gonna go up on the ladder and we're gonna start snapping this in.
Okay, so that door can open up and door exit right here. Down further. Nope, that's good right where it is. You move the light down for us?
I got my camera going with this. Good, how are we going? I'm making a video in the lab. Oh. Okay. So here is our uh, light we're putting up in the hallway. I just want to thank you, Lord, for not letting me find my pliers, and I'm going to have to go without. I'm just going to praise you. I'm going to worship you and honor you and do the best I can without them. Because if you're not there, they're not there. You don't frustrate. You don't get upset. You just praise him. If there's nothing else I want to do, it and change my Lord, you know? I just want to praise and worship my Heavenly Father. I just want to please Him. Nothing else matters but to please your Heavenly Father and worship Him. If I don't have something, I'd be thankful you don't have it. You go and do it. If it means you can't do something right, it means you can't do it right. So, you just do the best you can. And praise God. Just worship the Heavenly Father. And focus on Jesus. Don't worry about things that are missing and gone. Looking for stuff. Just go without. And worship your Heavenly Father. Praise God. Praise your Heavenly Father. Worship Him. Just focus on Him. Not what you don't have, what you can't find. Just focus on the Heavenly Father. Nothing else but the Heavenly Father. That's all that matters to the Heavenly Father. All that matters is the Heavenly Father. That's all I care about is the Heavenly Father. Just want to praise and worship Him. Praise and worship Him. Nothing else but Him. Because He's all that matters. Nothing else matters but the Heavenly Father. And thank you, Lord, for not having letting me have my flyers, so I'm going to have to go without them. Amen. I'm just going to worship Him. I'm not going to frustrate Him. I'm just going to praise Him. And you know what? I'm not even going to care about my flyers. I'm not even going to care about them. Not even going to care about them. Because caring about things could 
sets a trap for uh, slavery to Jews, and Jehovah really hates that. And I hate it too. So I just worship him and praise him and go without. Just worship the Heavenly Father and go without and do the best you can. Okay, we've got all our copper even at the end here, including our standard wire. So we're going to put our wire nut on here. So we've got our grounds in here. We've labeled out with all our pliers. So we just thank God for that. We just praise our Heavenly Father. We don't frustrate. We only worship the Heavenly Father. We don't. Okay, so we'll put our black to the black. Okay, that's long enough. I'm not going to strip that any longer because that is long enough. So we'll get our insulation even at the top here. We'll wrap the strands around like this. Top reading at the bottom and insulation reading at the top here. We'll put our orange wire nut on. We'll make sure our insulation is going up inside the cap. Okay, our insulation is in the cap. In the front. And we'll do a right layer next. We'll get our insulation even at the bottom here like this. We'll wrap our strands around. Give our top reading at the end and our insulation even at the bottom like that. Put our wire nut on here. Make it nice and tight. Our insulation even at the bottom of the wire nut. So this is a nice adjustable light here. We can turn it so it goes where we want it. And we'll push our wires into our box. Make sure we all the way get everything in there. And can set it up here like this. Okay, we'll put this one down this way towards, towards that door. Turn this one over this way. Maybe down this way, like that, okay? We're going to make sure no wires are pinched anywhere. Okay, now we're going to ring it down here and hook up by where it goes into the uh, exit light. Okay, let's push this good old decorative cap in up here. Okay, now we're going to hook into our uh, exit light up here. So first, we've got to put our green screw into the back of the box here. I just want to praise my heavenly father. Praise him. 
So that takes care of our ground going down through to our right. We just push it back in our box out of our way here. And now we'll our lights up. And we thank you, Heavenly Father, for not letting me have my uh, flathead screwdriver. So we go without. We don't frustrate. We just go without. I raise him. We don't get upset. We worship him. Here we get our wire strips that are nice and even here. Keep your eyes on the Lord, and just keep your eyes on Him. This is stranded, this is solid. So we get all our insulation, even at the top here, like get all our wires even like this. Just want to keep your eyes focused on Jesus. Keep your eyes on him. Can we get our wires all even at the top here? Get our insulation even at the bottom. There we go. Our insulation is even at the bottom, our top is even at the top. We have to have it turning our wire knot. All right, so there's our wire wires all together. Okay, this is the one that's going to go to our exit light. So this is our live wire. This is the black one. So we're going to put it back a little bit here. We'll strip our new one we're putting in. We're going to get them both the same length here. We'll strip our 14. Okay, I'm going to put a cap on the end of this one because it's going to be live and hook it up. So I'm going to make sure we're all the same length here. Got all our wires the same length. Our insulation even at the bottom and our copper even at the top. Make sure all my insulation is going up into the bottom of the cap, which it is. Make sure it's nice and tight. I thank the Lord for not having my pliers, so I have to give a little extra strenuous push. Just praise Him. Just focus on Jesus. You don't get upset. You don't push. You only worship the Heavenly Father. Okay, so we got our wires back into our box. I'm going to make sure our cap is on here, so now we can put our uh, exit light back up. You just have to focus on the Lord. You don't get frustrated. Focus on the Lord.
put our live wire through first, and our light wire through next. Okay, we'll find our box mounts here, and we'll screw it back onto our box. Okay, now we have our light mounted back up here again. Okay, so we have our black, which is live, our white, which is neutral. Now this is meant for a 120 or 277 volt, and there's an orange wire here, so we're going to take and put this orange cap on this red wire because they're not use, we're not using the 277 volt option. So I thank the Lord for not having my pliers, so I'll make my Bend and fold this copper over here, and we'll use our orange wire cap, and we'll make sure this orange wire is capped off. Now we have our white we put on the neutral, and our black which we put on the live wire. So we'll strip our white wire with our neutral up first. We'll use a yellow wire knot. Get our insulation even at the bottom, our copper even at the top here, like this. Get them both even like that there. Put our wire nut in. This is a pre tin stranded wire, so I'm not going to wrap the strands around the uh, solid wire. So I'll make sure my wire nut goes on nice and tight there. There's our white. And now I'll hook our black wire up to the black. The black is our live wire. So I'll line, get our uh, insulation lined up at the bottom and our copper even at the top, so I like that even. I'll put my wire nut in there. And I'll look inside my wire nut, make sure my insulation is going up inside the bottom, which it is, and with the light it is. So now we can fold our wires back up into our fixture here. We make sure our wires are up out of our way here. So we'll put the uh, cover back on there. Hold on. Yeah, I can't find my players. You didn't happen to see them anywhere? No. Well, you know what? I just thank the Lord I don't have them because it's a challenge working without them, you know? See what I'm saying? Okay, now we're ready to stick our cover on here. I'm just going to feel around here and make sure no wires are pinched anywhere. And now we put our cover back on this. Uh, yeah, that is nice and bright now. Yeah. Good. So I like. I took the whole hallway. Yeah, and down on the first floor, I'll do the same thing. Come off the exit lights. Okay, we'll put our cover back up here. Just snaps in here like that. And I'll sit underneath here, make sure no wires are 
can't see, if anything that moves out there that I can't see, so I just have to use my other senses and feel, make sure my body is finished anywhere. Okay, and I think everything is good. Now the last thing we gotta do is strap our wire, our conduit, flexible conduit, EM, or not EMT, uh, MC cable to the wall. I thank my heavenly father that my uh, screw gun is on and I have the challenge of putting all these in by hand. So it'll be a good incentive not to put as many in that should be in, so just praise him and thank him. Keep your eyes on Jesus, just focus on him. Jesus. Okay, we gotta put a cover on this. Okay, we can fold our wires back into our box here. Make sure it's 
Alrighty, so that's how to add some more lighting to a hallway in a luxury apartment complex. Here in the country, I was born in use 14 American wire gauge on 15 amps, 12 American wire gauge on 20 amps. Black is live, white is neutral, the bare, the green is the brown. Red and blue are also live colors, however, you may find white live in a switch loop or a 220-240 volt circuit where the appliance does not require a neutral. Large apartment complexes are required to have a fire alarm and wired in with the fire department and uh, fire extinguishers in the hallways and the emergency exit and the fire escape down the back. <laughs> 